Today I'm going to show you how to wire up three-way switches and hopefully take some of the mystery out of how they work. I'll talk you through the types of wire that you need, how to connect those wires in the electrical boxes, and how to avoid those common DI wire mistakes along the way. What I'm about to show you isn't the only way to do it, but it's the way I like to do it because it makes the most sense to me. This is a three-way switch, and it has four screw terminals, one called common, one ground, and two called travelers. A three-way switch is used when you have two or more switches controlling the same light, so I'm going to show you its functionality as a pair of switches. As I show you this, please bear in mind that I am a science teacher by trade, not an electrician. So be sure to consult a professional on anything that doesn't make sense. Having said that, please feel free to drop a comment below if you have questions or suggestions, and I'll try to answer them. Generally speaking, instead of opening and closing a circuit like a single pole switch does, the three-way switch sends power on from the hot live wire through one of two routes. So instead of on, off, it's more like route A or route B. Here's how it works. Power comes in from the breaker box to the first three-way switch and has two possible routes to take to the second switch, red wire or black wire. When the switch is up, the power continues through the black wire to the second switch. When the switch is down, the power continues through the red wire to the second switch. Red and black both connect to the second switch. So the switch selects which wire to send power on to the lights from, red or black. In this configuration, both switches control the light. When both switches are in the up position, power moves through the black wire between the switches and the light comes on. Either of the switches can turn it off. When both switches are in the down position, power moves through the red wire between switches and the light comes on. And again, both switches have the ability to turn off the power. In opposing switches, one up, one down, electricity can't make it to the light. In this way, the light is controllable from either switch. Now let me show you what I'm talking about in the context of the wiring I'm doing in this unfinished basement room. I have the tools and materials I'm using in this project linked in the description if you need them. Typically, residential lights are on a 15 amp circuit, so 14-2 Romex wire connects the breaker box to the first three switches. 14-2 includes a conducting wire in black insulation called the hot or live wire, one in white insulation called the neutral wire, and a bare copper wire called the ground. All of this sits inside of a white outer jacket. Okay, so we have the end of the 14-2 Romex here in the electrical box. Now the 14-3 Romex will run between switch one and switch two. And basically 14-3 Romex is the same as 14-2 Romex with the addition of a wire with red insulation, which will basically add an optional secondary route for the current to get to the light. So your switch one electrical box has a 14-2 Romex wire coming from the breaker box and a 14-3 Romex wire running on from switch one to switch two. Let's talk about wiring it up. Step one for wiring, and this is always step one in any electrical job, is to turn off the breaker box. I know some of you feel like you can skip this step, but come on guy, don't be a hero. Or you could end up with an Albert Einstein hairdo if you're not careful. The connection for the white neutral wires and the ground wires in the electrical box are super straightforward. So we're gonna start there and get those out of the way. I like to twist the ground wires together first. You're also gonna cut an additional six inch ground wire that you're gonna to connect to the green terminal on the switch and twist together with the other two ground wires. Next, connect the white neutral wires to the box together with a wire nut. Use the right size, twist until it's tight, and give it a couple more twists to ensure a strong connection. No fires on my watch. With neutrals and ground taken care of, all we have left to deal with in the electrical box are the black and red wires. Connect the black live wire from the 14-2 Romex coming from the breaker box to the common terminal on the bottom of the switch. That gets power to the switch. Now for the red and black wires in the 14-3 Romex. Connect the red and black from the 14-3 Romex to the two traveler terminals on the top of the switch, one on each side. Typically black from the 14-3 goes on the top left of each switch, red goes on the top right of each switch. Now this switch can send power on through the black wire or the red wire depending on its position. Now over to switch two, which is the bridge between switch one and the light. Like switch one, the electrical box for switch two contains the 14-3 Romex wire coming from switch one and 14-2 Romex that runs to the light. Just like for switch one, connect the grounds together along with a jumper ground from the switch itself. Then connect the white neutrals together with a wire nut. Now for the remaining black and red wires. Connect the black and red wires in the 14-3 to the traveler terminals on the top of the switch. 
Again, typically black goes on the top left and red goes on the top right. Finally, the black wire from the 14-2 running to the light is attached to the common terminal. And this switch chooses whether the lights are connected to the black traveler line or the red traveler line. And you know the story from here. Both switches on, power runs to the light through the black traveler. Both switches down, power runs to the light through the red traveler. Opposing switches one way or the other, power never makes it to the light, and this allows you to control the light from either switch. After seeing this video, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, you can drill that ManCycle logo. If you'd like to see how I wired up the canless lights that these switches run, you can check that out by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.